Hey, this is a tutorial on how to use your iPhone's 3G connection on your laptop. First thing you want to do is go to an internet, an internet browser and type in PDANet Desktop. And right over here, you want to download that for either your Mac system, Windows 64 bit, or 32 bit Windows. So you'll download it, but I'm just going to cancel it here because I already have it downloaded. So once you have it downloaded, you should see this icon. Now on your iPhone, you want to go to either Cydia, or I prefer to use Rock because it lags much less. Uh, come on. It's right over here. There we go into that. Then we'll hit the search button. Hit the search. Type in PDA net. And hit search. And once it's done searching, you should see two results PDA net and PDA net toggle. You want to go to PDA net. and hit the install button. So yeah, it'll install. It's just taking a while to install here. That's the SBS settings in case you want the PD in it toggle. You can just have it right up there. So like with the SBS settings, you'll slide the top. And then you'll just have a setting right about there, like right under the edge. Yeah, Alright, that's done. So we can go down into here. It'll lag a bit. And you just wait. Wait a little bit. There we go. So you see PDA in it. You want to go to that. And then you want to go down here to settings. Thing will pop up. You can have Wi Fi router mode, USB mode, or PDA in it off. USB mode is where you have to have it plugged in through a USB cable, and Wi Fi router mode. It is where it will broadcast a Wi-Fi signal from your iPhone to your laptop. You basically just hook that up, and then you go down to here. See PDA in it. PDA in it, ready to connect. Double click it, and we'll go initial right there. Connecting your device, verifying. It'll say PDA in it. Okay. So yeah. Apparently that one's a trial. So you have to purchase or register it. So we have buy. Yeah. This is just a kind of short way to do it. You can do it before, but that's how to do it now. There's also a second way to do it, which took me a while to find. Let me see if I can find it again for you here. Alright. It is um Is iPhone internet tether? And here we go. Let's see if we can find that. And there it goes. It's way. And last time I tried this, it said that the device does not have a data connection, so I don't know if it works. This one's for 3.0 right now. I don't know if there will be a newer way, but if I, if I do find a way that's totally free, 
I will notify you guys when we update this video. So yeah, you let this alone. Hopefully this will be the right one. And this one. That kind of looks like it. And this is the PDA and I think we just did. So that's not it. But you look at the screen, it'll look just like I, uh... It'll, like, look like it's made to go on the iPhone. So, like, you'll look on the iPhone, it'll be this... And then, ooh, this might be it. No, but it's, uh... Yeah, right here. This website. I'm pretty sure. Let's see here. Alright, pretty sure I remember this website, but... Alright, hang on. It's loading. Help.ben... Help.benm.at Let's see. Yeah, there it is. Loading. not going to work. Alright. I will send out an update if I figure out how it'll work. Oh, no, here it is. Features tethering down here at the bottom. Yeah, here it is. So you just select your country. After, hang on. Should be a refresh button here. There we go. See, this is loading. Let's see. If you look at this, there's Australia, Austria, Belgium, all the, all the countries. So, like, if you're in the U.S. here, we'll go down to the bottom. So, for example, USA. There. Right here we have AT&T, Beta, and T-Mobile. The AT&T is a beta, so if you have AT&T, just download that one. And I'll go to example with T-Mobile. So you'll click on that. And it'll come up like this. Install web clip, you'll want that, and then you just hit the download. So I'll download it for example here. So that'll close out. It'll close that out, and it'll open up another window. In your settings, install profile. You'll just hit install. Right, right here. You can hit install. You'll bring up this thing. It'll, it's saying it'll change the settings on your iPhone. But no, I'm not going to do that. So yeah, you'll just have to do that for whichever version you want. And that's it. Alright. And I hope this video helped. Please, you don't have to subscribe, but I do have some videos. There is another video on my iPhone. It is saved as fix my iPhone because my iPhone does have an accelerometer problem. It needs to be reset because it's way off. So, uh, yeah, if you figure out a answer to this problem, please notify me. Okay, all right. And thanks, you guys, and I'll see you later.